What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video guys. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a little photo shoot, getting some roller shots, uh, shooting Noor's car, both of his cars actually. We got Dia over here, he's gonna be helping us today. Driver. He's gonna be the driver with the <laughs> rolling shot. Me and Dia are gonna go in the 135 while Noor drives this car. We're gonna get some rolling shots of this car. Also gonna take some pictures of the 135 because it has the new wrap and new wheels on. Um, but we're about ready to leave, so we're gonna be recording the whole process for you guys the behind the scenes of a photo shoot. What do you think? It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we're in the 135 right now. And we're off. Oh my Gosh, god, dude. dude, this car's so fast, I'm too. I'm just tapping on, I'm just tapping on the gas. It's just... I think it's at, what, 400 something horsepower right now? It looks Where's good, it doesn't it? Like, hold on. It looks really good. Make sure you're like on this side of us so I can take pictures. Copper, <laughs> bro. Oh my <laughs> It looks really good, dude. Look at the new one. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Dude, the thing sounds so sounds crazy. So oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> you know, I told Nora when he got that, don't change anything. I know, like, it's really. perfect. It sounds so good like that. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, this thing is crazy. All right, guys, so right now I'm using my Sony a6300. All right, guys, we're here at our first location. Just some like random like shopping mall that looks pretty like modern, new. I think it will look pretty sick. Only problem is uh, the direct sunlight may be a problem. Hopefully not too much. This is actually, I can see it right now. This looks pretty sick. We'll go ahead and try something like this. Guys, this looks crazy. Damn, that's like an ad for variant right there. <laughs> I'll get some I need, I need shots like this for the 135. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'll definitely get some. Actually, this is like a really good spot. So it's sick. Want, yeah, no, it's really it sick. Right, right here. All right, I'm and gonna like, switch spots with you. Yeah. Even like these. Bro. Oh my god, dude, those are fire. All right, hold on, let me get the 135 now. We're gonna go to some back roads though, so we have some more space to actually do everything. Because we tried doing it on like the main road, but there was just too many cars and it was too hard to do it properly. So we're gonna go do some right now. Oh, maybe like right here, exactly right now. Oh God, I'm not ready. All right, let me try. I got a few, but I don't think they came out that good. Yeah, they came out kind of blurry. It was kind of hard. I think I'm not gonna be able to record too much while I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna take some more pictures of the rolling shots. You guys kind of saw the idea. Alright guys, so we just finished the photo shoot. I wasn't able to record too much of us, like me doing the roller shots. It's really hard to record and like do roller shots at the same time and get like steady shots. Um, and then it's hard for the driver also to uh, record while driving. So that's why we didn't get too much footage of us doing the rolling shots. But I will show you guys some of the results of those. They look really good. Just in camera, they look really good already. So I'm really excited to see how they turn out in uh, editing. So I might record myself editing the photos as well, just so you guys can kind of see how I use my settings. I think that might be a cool uh, concept. 
So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we will jump to that right now. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. This is actually like two weeks later, surprisingly. Two, two, three weeks later, something like that. Anyway, we're here. I'm at home. I got my MacBook. I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my pictures. I just gotta go find the files that day because it's been like three, almost, I think it's almost been like, yeah, like three weeks, three-ish weeks. And so like I clear some of my pictures once I'm done with them. So I'm gonna have to go back, find them. All right guys, so I found some of the files so I'm gonna go ahead, uh, they're in JPEG form, so I'm not gonna be able to edit them properly, but I'll show you guys similarly how I do it. Normally, to get the pictures how I get them, you have to have a raw file. So I got this from a photo shoot from like a week and a half ago that I did with Noor. Um, let me go ahead, find some pictures that aren't completely blurry, that I haven't touched yet. I think this one will be good. It's kind of like an alleyway with like his 435. Um, let me go ahead, show you guys what I do. So normally what I do, I go ahead, I try to frame it up a little bit like better. So try to get the car right in the middle um, so there's enough on both sides of the car. So kind of like this. Then I'll go ahead, bring it up just like that. Nothing too crazy. And so, okay, so normally what I'll do then after I have it all uh, framed properly, I'll go ahead, get the exposure, bring it up a tad bit. Just like that, probably. Um, go ahead, mess with the colors a little bit. So I'll go with orange since this car's orange. I don't want to do too much orange because then like it will show on the background too. But just enough, maybe like that. Just have the colors pop. Okay, let's bring up the exposure a little bit more, like that. Mess with some of the clarity. Not too much because if I do too much clarity, it kind of looks. It just looks way too weird. Um, so just a little bit. Um, a little bit of texture as well. Maybe a little bit of dehazing, nothing crazy. Bring up the vibrance just a tad bit. Mess with the blacks, no. Maybe a little bit. Normally I do like to drop my highlights all the way down, but I think I'll leave some, probably like that. Not too much contrast. I personally like colder shots. Uh, that's just like my style. Not too cold, but like the warmer style shots are just, I, I'm not, it's not like my favorite style. I like a little bit colder. So I'll have like a little bit more blue, something like that probably. Yeah, that, that looks a little bit better. Okay, um, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll take one of the, uh, like the graduated filter and I'll bring it up just a little bit, maybe something like that. I want the car to be like the focus of attention, not like the foreground or the background. So what I'll do sometimes too is at the top, I'll go ahead and bring one down. Something like that, that looks pretty good to me. I want the car properly exposed. Yeah, this is actually like pretty much perfect. So this is how I like to do my car pictures. So I think this is a good example of how I edit my pictures. Remember to follow me on Instagram, guys. Go follow me, go follow Nord, go follow Dia down below on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram. But without further ado, guys, remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that BMW. I will catch you guys later.